For much of the 20th century, the government agency responsible for workers' health and safety was the Public Health Service, but limited funds and frequent reorganizations left the service without a unified strategy. It was piecemeal, scattered. It wasn't uh, a cohesive effort. Uh, no one really focused on what are the hazards to workers in the, in the workplace. That changed on December 29, 1970, when President Nixon signed the bill which created OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, and NIOSH, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. NIOSH was established to conduct research to prevent injury and illness in the workplace and provide professional training. It deals with the environment in which the people, the 55 million Americans who are covered by it, will be working and it provides for an institute which will look into the problems of the environment. Now, let's talk about who's responsible. Usually at an occasion like this, the president stands up and says, I did it, or the Congress says, I did it, or the Democrats say they did it, the Republicans say they did it, or labor takes the credit, or management takes the credit. I would like to have the record very clear here that this bill could not be signed by the President of the United States today unless everybody had worked together to get it through. It was the convergence of the mine disasters, the black lung, the environmental episodes that were evolving, and its time had come. The major impetus for the passage of the act was concern over safety back in the late 60s and obviously in 1970, there was r relatively little knowledge about uh, occupational disease. Uh, to a large extent, uh, articles on this were wrapped up in learned journals. In my own industry, of the steel industry, the whole question of, of cook oven exposures were relatively unknown uh, to uh, workers in those uh, steel mills and in the coke ovens. When I started in a coke plant in 1951, I started, I had no idea whatsoever that there was carcinogens in the emissions or any of that. Each day, an average of 137 people die from work-related diseases and 16 people from injuries on the job. In 1994, occupational injuries alone cost $121 billion in health care and related costs. However alarming, these figures signal major progress in worker health and safety since the creation of NIOSH and OSHA. Progress, based in large part on knowledge, gained from scientific research conducted or funded by NIOSH.